the ball. Now, uh, let me repair that armor for you. This is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite? They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? <laughs> Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can. Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. when you are. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. 
Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Amir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Hildy, come join us. Have a seat. I miss anything? I was just telling him about the time I asked you to play damsel in distress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, <laughs> then, when she had them distracted, I jumped in, heroic, and together, we took them all down. There must have been a hundred. I don't know, maybe more. Spare us your gloating. Does it really bother you that some of my ideas actually work? No, but... I do envy you. <laughs> in what realm? Spare me the patronizing. I've calculated every risk I've ever taken. Tried to mitigate all the ways it could go wrong. And still, it all falls apart. You, you just throw yourself into situations in harm's way. And somehow it always works out for you. You always end up all right with that stupid grin. I'd argue my trip to Asgard didn't go quite so well. Yes, there are some lessons to be learned by planning. And others by learning to adapt. That's why you two were such a great team. I don't it's because we had such a lousy old man. Some people. It's true Mjord was not much of a father. But he's the reason we were able to be family. Yeah, funny you should be so hard on him, Freyr, since you inherited his wanderlust. Especially in times of importance. That's not true. I had good reason for leaving those times. Tell her. Ah, I have missed this. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but... If tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. 
Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. wood for his village. Every evening he wore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. 
Apart from the taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well? Say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? <laughs> In my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes, but not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes. For you, and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. I do feel your absence. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it.
going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. good place right now but who is i'm sorry lunda i know you and bro just tell me you're gonna get odin tell me whatever it takes you're not letting that bastard walk away from this you will not damn right and if in the process you happen to tear him a bucket load of new holes in places he don't want them i'll be rightly obliged Sorry, that was dark. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Escape my past. To 
Start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here. Nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough. No matter the cost. This ends today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, might as well be. A big fat smile on my face. Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. to do. What's on 
We have no other plan. Our focus remains on the war machines. We should head for the flaw behind the Asgard Tower. Without Raptor Rockets, our only chance to break through the wall. Peter's flaw! He said only Saturn knew how to use it. Let's say I was wrong. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Odin's new Valkyrie queen is gonna. This company. I would think so. Then we must hurry. This one. Hey, 
Up here! They sound eager. Good. Here it comes! Use a shield strike, brother! Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. Way to 
go, Sindri! Ah! It's just Sindri! I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this! Sindri! We... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines! And I'm here to tear them down! Before you break them, we must turn them on the wall. Fine! Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giant! what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What, what are you doing? Size of that thing? Well, I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Rimbus Flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see if done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! 
I will help those that are trapped. And meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! <laughs> Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. Get the offer! I want to thank you? No, I just want... I don't care what you want. This changed me nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. Sindri, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem in front of him. The Guardians, your friend, our family, any of us. I'd hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. 
Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... was our Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. Uh. You don't owe him your death. Oh, shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Up 
Oh! 